What is going on everyone? Hopefully you're having a great day so far. My name is Noah and I'm here to talk about some football. Today's video, we're ranking the top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL going into the 2024 season. This is somewhat based off of last season and how quarterbacks performed last season and how I think they'll perform next season. This does not include any rookies coming into the NFL from the draft. This is purely NFL quarterbacks that are active starters and will be starters next season. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. At number 10, I have Jared Goff, quarterback for the D. Detroit Lions. Now I have Jared Goff at number 10 because he did show he is a top quarterback. He consistently finds a way to get the ball to his playmakers in Sam Laporta and Amon Ross St. Brown. He gets good use out of his pass catching running back Jameer Gibbs and overall Jared Goff has run that Lions offense very well. The Lions fans are not used to seeing their team perform that high level but this last season was very fun to watch and I think next season will be just as good for the Lions and especially that offensive unit. At number 9 is another veteran quarterback in Matt Stafford. Now I have Matt Stafford at number nine. I think he's definitely been underrated this season. Watching his highlights has been a ton of fun. He showed he could still make these big throws. He showed he could still ball out. And he really showed he can still make these good reads. He's obviously a, a veteran player. He has an IQ. He has a football IQ. He knows how to read defenses. And he has made some very athletic plays. He's made some very nice passes. He loves feeding Puka. He has these targets and he's making them, he's making them shine. He really is. I feel like a lot of people won't really acknowledge Matt Stafford in their top 10. But for me, I felt like he earned a spot at number 9. Now, number 8 is a quarterback that I would not have had in my top 10 last season. But because of the huge leap he has made and the skill that he showed last postseason, I have to put Jordan Love at number 8. Jordan Love absolutely shined on the Packers last season. He caught all of us off guard. I didn't expect him to make that run that he did towards the end of the postseason. He really was playing the lights out football. Lights out football. Like, Jordan Love is one of those guys that quietly put up a very, very solid season season until he got to the postseason people were forced to watch him he what he what he put on display was really it was just amazing bro it was really just amazing and i think he's gonna build off of that and continue to develop as a quarterback and he might even make his way into the top five in the future years we'll have to see how that plays out but jordan love's future is looking very bright now at number seven i have aaron Rodgers. now i know this list i said was based off of last season but aaron Rodgers is aaron Rodgers, bro he's coming back off of injury and he is getting older well he's been a little older but like i said with a lot of these other guys especially jared goff aaron Rodgers is a veteran player one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time he has probably one of the better football iqs in the game and jets have a lot of weapons and a lot of talent the jets are very slept on they have a lot of talent they have Brees hall they have garrett wilson they have a lot of guys that are young and very explosive and with the veteran quarterback like Aaron Rodgers that can make a lot of these crazy throws and read the defenses very well who knows how far the Jets will go it's really unpredictable and I think if he's healthy Aaron Rodgers will have a monstrous season this year also the Jets did just sign wide receiver Mike Williams to a one-year contract adding another target for a veteran quarterback Aaron Rodgers now at number six I know this one's going to get a lot of people mad but I have Lamar Jackson now me personally I don't even think Lamar belongs in the top 10 quarterbacks but he did have an MVP season I know a lot of people would have him much higher a lot of people would have him at two or three or four but I don't I don't think he's that great he obviously is good he obviously can ball out he can put up amazing amazing performances where we watch him we're like oh my god Lamar Jackson but then he'll throw in a triple coverage on a third down. Or not even third down. I think it was second down, clean pocket, down by two score. Like, bro, he, he, his decision making is not great. He has progressed in his career, but I don't think he's progressed enough. He's really running out of time to, to prove himself as an elite quarterback and beat the running back allegations, in my opinion. And and yeah, I just, I just don't see Lamar Jackson being one of the elite quarterbacks i don't think you can compare lamar jackson to a to a joe burrow or, or patrick mahomes or even a josh allen i just I, I don't see it i don't see it if you do correct me in the comments tell me why i'm wrong man feel free but lamar i have a number six just because he came off the mvp season and he did have a pretty good year now at number five i have josh allen now this is a similar situation with lamar jackson this is a very talented player and has very high highs but at the same time also has very low lows josh allen has been very shaky 
at times. He has been a turnover machine at times. He has made terrible decisions to cost his team the game. Although he has a lot of potential, it, it's really hard to say with Josh Allen. He's very unpredictable. You never know what Josh Allen you're going to get on what day. It, it really ranges. It's not really the type of stability you want at a quarterback one. Although he is very talented, very skilled, I wish he was a little more consistent with his level of play. But yeah, Josh Allen's an athletic beast. He can sling the ball. And I don't know what his problem is, but you just can't seem to get it done in big games. Maybe Mahomes is uh, his kryptonite. I think one of these games, he'll, he'll find a way to pass Mahomes in the championship game and advance to the Super Bowl. But we'll have to see. Now at number four, and I know it's early to say he's a top quarterback, but I have CJ Stroud. Now after watching this guy's rookie performance, it's almost impossible to not put him up here. Yes, I know he's young. Very young, okay? I know he's played one season in the NFL. But dude, when was the last time we saw a rookie quarterback ball like that? Have we ever seen a rookie quarterback ball like that? I don't think so. I don't think so personally. CJ Stroud is something, something else, man. His rookie season was nothing short of amazing. He has weapons around him. He has Tank Dell. He has all these guys around him. And honestly, he's only gonna continue to build chemistry with his team and learn different different tricks and different routes that work with his receivers and the team chemistry is only going to keep building the more that he he keeps playing cj stroud has done ridiculous things and i think he's going to keep evolving and keep learning and he's definitely going to be one of the top quarterbacks for years to come okay now we are getting into the top three if you are wondering where a couple of these quarterbacks are at that you are thinking about they're probably about to be mentioned right now at number three we have justin herbert now Justin Herbert is a guy that people tend to disrespect for whatever reason. I really don't understand why. He's a talented quarterback with elite arm strength comparable to Josh Allen and Mahomes. This guy literally has a cannon for an arm. This kid is ridiculous, bro. Herbert can sling the ball, bro. Herbert can sling the ball, man. Watching Keenan Allen highlights really made me realize, like, damn, dude, Herbert's solid. Like, I've known Herbert was that guy since Oregon. I wanted the Giants to draft Justin Herbert. But, dude, Justin Herbert is him, bro. He is him. I think it's it wasn't his fault of all the, the losses that the Chargers have taken. He did have terrible coaching. Who was the coach? Was it Brandon Staley? Yeah, pretty sure he was under Brandon Staley. None of what happened in his career is his fault. Justin Herbert is a very, very, very good quarterback. He is a Super Bowl-level quarterback. He he can win big games he's most likely about to get a new target in malik neighbors and the nfl draft a lot of change up in terms of predictions and projections has been happening recently it was rumored that giants were going to get dunze at six and now it's rumored that giants are going to get malik neighbors it was said that chargers traded keenan allen because they're going to draft malik neighbors but now people really aren't sure i think they're still going to grab malik neighbors and give justin herbert a new target but we will have to just wait and see now moving on at number two we have and i believe this is a solid 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 ranking he is coming off an injury but we have joe burrow joey b joe shicey joey cool the only man besides tom brady to knock patrick mahomes out of the playoffs the only man that has knocked the goat himself out of the playoffs besides tom brady he deserves his spot right here he deserves his spot right here people say the big three is mahomes allen and uh burrow but honestly josh allen i don't think josh allen's close to joe burrow joe burrow is josh allen with better decision making although they do have different skill sets i'm taking joe burrow over josh allen joe burrow has been to a super bowl joe burrow played decent in that super bowl his super bowl stats include 22 completions on 33 attempts 263 pass yards one touchdown zero interceptions and a quarterback rating of 100.9 seems pretty solid in my books I would say that's actually very solid, especially when you go against a defense that was as strong as that Rams defense. But yeah, Joe Burrow coming back this season is going to make a lot of people kind of regret what they are saying about him. I've seen a lot of Joe Burrow slander. I'm really not sure why. People forget what he has done. He, he's been gone for one season and people are already forgetting about the Bengals. The Bengals have a very good team. Bengals have a very good team. They have young players. They have good players. They have athletic players. They have smart players. And overall, when Herbert's back, excuse me, when Burrow's back, they're going to be very dangerous once again. They're going to be very dangerous once again. They're going to be deep in the playoffs. Potential Super Bowl run. I don't know. We'll have to see. And that is why Joe Burrow is at number two. And number one, the number one quarterback going into the 2024 NFL season. I'm sure everyone could guess. I'm sure everyone is aware who I'm about to say. 
because it's pretty hard to not have this guy number one. We have, ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Mahomes. Duh. Obviously. Of course we have Patrick Mahomes. Of course we have Patrick Mahomes. Is there anything I need to say that we don't already know about Patrick Mahomes? The guy is 28 years old, has won three Super Bowls, has played in four Super Bowls, has three Super Bowl MVPs. This guy is ridiculous, bro. He's probably about a three-peat next season. I... <sighs> When you're talking about greatness, Patrick Mahomes really just encapsulates it, bro. This guy just, dude, it, it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me, bro. I've never seen anything like it. He just doesn't know how to lose. He's really, he's really the new Tom Brady, but he's a thousand times more talented. Tom Brady had talent, don't get me wrong, but Tom Brady can never make half these throws Mahomes makes. He could never, bro. I don't care. Tom Brady had Randy Moss. Mahomes doesn't have Randy Moss. Mahomes has Kelsey, one of the top tight ends of all time. I wouldn't say the greatest tight end of all time because there's still Gronkowski. There's still a lot of guys that are above him. We have killer tight ends like Aaron Hernandez that are above him. Um, anyways, we have never seen a guy like Patrick Mahomes. If your team is beating, if your team is beating the Chiefs and you see this man Patrick walk out on the field like this, bro, you're cooked. You're cooked. Once he hits his little, once he hits his little, you're done, bro. You're done. Once it's that little zesty walk and just... Bro, nah, it's over, bro. It's over, bro. I don't know what goes on in his mind. He literally goes on his Ben 10 Omnitrix and goes into GOAT mode. He's something else, bro. Like, I don't know. Patrick Holmes is not real, man. He is not real. But that's been me ranking my top 10 quarterbacks. If you have a different top 10, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you did. Be sure to leave a like. Be sure to subscribe for more NFL content just like this. Let me know if you want me to do more ranking videos. And other than that, my name is Noah and I am out. Later.